for us not finishing right there. We just, we just were bad and we, we couldn't finish. Like, I, don't, I can't pinpoint a reason to why we couldn't. It's just, we get tired or you know, lazy or like, drop a pass here, miss a tackle, so one of that. So we just got to work on our, one thing we got to work on with this. We've done a lot of traditional with that. That's going to help us come this season. Yeah, I was a basketball player. Okay, it seems like in basketball, you're missing free throws. Yeah. Is that what kind of happens in the football games? Yeah, that's, that not, just with, not just with us, I mean, that's with any team in the nation. You know what I'm saying? You get a pass here, and two plays later, a, a lineman gets beat, gets up a sag, then turns around, and it's like one, one thing, the snowball starts growing, just starts to grow and grow and get bigger. And they say, you know what I'm saying? So I say, try to break those habits. Like, I mean, you never go through that perfect game with no mistakes. And just one thing, like, once you quit, we got to forget about it, leave it in the past, and just go back to the next play. The most important play is always the next play. So. Given where uh, the Duvall program has been, were you surprised that you guys got a coach with the, with the name recognition and quality of the couple? Like, uh, it was a lot of rumors before he got hired actually about he might be coming. So I mean, I wasn't that surprised. I was, was he got How about when his name first came up? Yeah, I kind of was actually. Because uh, like, Tennessee, but uh, Tennessee's a good program. I didn't know he would. I believe they were going to bowl game last year. I didn't know he would leave. But he came to us. We're very fortunate to have him. A great guy. I hope nobody's already asked because I know you don't want to answer this more than once. But uh, yeah. the whole the whole judge thing in Louisville and the ruling that you know anybody could be a suitable replacement for Duke. How, how did that go over? And how did you how did you guys take that? Was it disappointing? Was it an insult? Was it just one of those things? Or, I don't, know, I don't know too much about that because I mean that wasn't really a topic that we talked about. Like in the field, that's more of the, to me like the more of the off the field, off the field things that I really don't want to deal with. But I mean I know I got some kind of knowledge of it. And, I mean if that's how they feel, I mean I can't uh, tell a person how to feel about our team. I mean you look at us, I reckon, I mean you got I guess you have to say an excuse. I mean a uh, reason to say that, but that's, that's not really my kind of Does that does that provide any kind of motivation to prove? That we're going to be better, and we have enough more fish. Look at our record last year. We don't need any outside, but we got enough for ourselves. So creative by ourselves. The whole we dug ourselves in last year. And that'd be my last season. A lot of our seniors last season. You're obviously a sports guy. Can you recall your first sports memory? Why you became a sports fan? Like, we all have a story like, oh yeah, I like Tony Dorsett or whatever. Do you have any one person or yeah, like, uh, when I first when I was a kid growing up, like I said, I never really I always watched football, but I was kinda of scared to play. I was scared to hit so I didn't start playing in high school. So growing up as a kid, my favorite play, I watched the Eagles like, it's like the helmets. Uh, green with the wings. Eagle, the wings on the side of the and I remember my favorite uh, player was Randall Cunningham. Uh, he was, I like, I used to want to be a quarterback. He was like, do a little cover and run through. He was really excited to me. But it was the, it was the helmet more than Randall Cunningham. <laughs> yeah, first the helmet. What the first week he's been your quarterback? <laughs> Yeah, with that, they try to avoid that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can move. I mean, he gets him, like I said, he puts in a position. I mean, all of that, we got his students for his kind of style of play. So he doesn't really have to use his feet too much. Just like that. I mean, at the end of the day, he has to deliver the ball to the receiver. Deliver the ball to the receiver, hand the ball off, like the defense.